Christian, a good win this afternoon at Princes Park. Give us your thoughts on it. No, a great win. Yeah, really, really, really good test. Um, they've come here and they've made it really difficult for us and, and had a lot of bodies behind the ball, so we had to be patient in spells. And then, obviously, we didn't get the rubber green trying to get in at half-time, 1-0 up. So that was... Uh, that was another test at half time but the boys showed great character and and good energy especially off the back of Tuesday where we could have been a bit deflated after flip conceding at the 85th minute but uh, we come into into this game with uh, with good energy and and the boys recovered really really well because they put in a proper shift midweek and uh, and that didn't show today so it was really really pleasing yeah it hasn't been the best run of form but we seem to you know get rid of that and start fresh today yeah definitely I think we had a tough eight days with obviously Farber away and then FA Trophy not going to plan and and it was difficult and we had to have a look at ourselves and it's almost if you're trying to pull a silver lining out of a of a bad moment it's uh it's grounding and it's humbling to know that yeah we've we've been on a good run of, of late but we're human and we need to make sure that we cut our errors to uh, give ourselves the best chance of winning and obviously we've we've made a few mistakes today and and again Tuesday but we're trying to iron them out and the boys are recognising it and hopefully we can grow from it and then kick on now. We seem to speak about him every week, but Samir Carruthers, another brilliant performance for him, got to man the match. Just how much of an asset is he to this side? Uh, he's, he's brilliant and he, he steps up and he's got great, great confidence in his ability. So no matter what the, what the template of the game is and how it evolves, he's always willing to get on the ball and always willing to, to play risky, risky football and, and try and make things happen. And at the moment, He's getting and um, he's paying dividends because it's it's really paying off and he's really important for us. We've got to keep him fit. He knows he's got to try and stay fit and he knows that people are sniffing on the bench. We've got a really strong bench from week to week now and, and if you don't deliver and if you don't commit to, to what Gaffer wants then, then you're gonna find yourself out the team. So there's pressure and it's it's a healthy pressure and he's delivering week on week. So Long may it continue, we've got a clear week next week where we can recover and, and, and try and look towards Chelmsford. And, um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's doing very well at the moment. Yeah. And talking about the bench, a return for Luke Allen today, how important is it, it to get him back in the yeah. side? I mean, the medical team have really had to work hard with him and, and Luke's done a lot of work behind the scenes to give himself an opportunity to come back. It's, it's been a frustrating one for him because it's been a lingering niggle from, from pre-season that sort of keeps erupting and settling and erupting. So. They've worked really hard and he should be really pleased today. He's got sort of 20, 25 minutes today, which he looked really strong. I mean, he came into training on Thursday and, and he looked like he hadn't been missing. So that's credit to him and the work that he's been doing off the pitch. And hopefully we can keep building it and he can put himself in, in the picture for next Saturday. Um, but we'll see how he recovers next week and, and then assess from there. And a good goal for Pierre Fonk, who swivelled and found the corner. He's working hard and now getting the goal Yeah, through. exactly that. I mean, he's... Uh, he does, his, uh, he does his training, he does a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff on his own and, and tries to make sure that he's in the, the best, best state possible to, uh, to make sure that he can affect play. And his, um, his work and his endeavour is, is second to none every week and it's nice that he gets the rewards that, uh, that he deserves. And now Saturday, quite a big game against Chelmsford, another playoff contender. What are you expecting from that and how big is it for, to get a result there? They're all big games, for one. It's, uh, at the moment, it's so tight, especially at the top end of things, that uh, every game, today was a massive game for us, and thankfully we were the right side of the result. Chelmsford's no different. It's a, it's a game, the, the, the league is not going to be dictated by one, one weekend. But it's a big test, massive test. They're a good outfit, and they're having a good spell at the moment as well. And we're going to have to just have a look to them, focus, try and do our due diligence, and make sure we know exactly what they're going to be doing and, and how we can set up and, and find a way to win at their place. Um, and it's obviously an earlier kickoff, so we've got to just alter preparation slightly and the boys have got to be focused on that. But thankfully, like I said, we've got the clear week, which means we can recover and, and get things right and we've got a full week of preparation going into that game. Christian, thank you. Wonderful, thank you.